How's it everyone? Welcome to another episode of Hawaiian Horology. In this box, I have the ultimate three watch collection for under $1,000. So if you want to see what watches I've chosen, stay tuned. Here we go. The first watch in our three watch collection under a thousand dollars will be the Seiko SSK 003 and it retails at $475 but you can probably find it online with a bit of a discount right now on exquisite timepieces they are selling it for $380. In our collection here the SSK 003 will be categorized as our everyday plus watch every day because it does sport a nice size that you can wear pretty much with everything uh, the jubilee bracelet uh, is pretty comfortable is a little bit um, jangly like all seiko jubilee bracelets are but it does work for every day it has a nice um design aesthetic to it but the reason why it's an everyday plus is because it does have also the gmt complication it is a collar GMT versus a flyer GMT. And um, I'll show you here, instead of the, the local hour jumping, it's the GMT hour that jumps. So you can still track two time zones. So you uh, wind it forward and the GMT hand moves. You wind it the other way and the minute hand moves. This watch does not have a screw down crown, but it still has 100 meters of water resistance. So it is perfect for uh, every scenario that you have. That's why this will be your everyday plus in the collection. The second watch in our collection for under $1,000 is the Tissot PRX Quartz. This is the mint dial variant. Its current retail is $395, but you can probably get a discount on here, I think. Uh, I think my wife got this one for me with maybe a 10 to 15 percent discount on the Amex so maybe you can get it for around 330 maybe 360 or so so with the two our running total here is 380 plus 360 that is about 740 dollars this Tissot PRX quartz with a mint dial I think in our collection we could categorize it as a dress uh, a dress plus watch here it is um very thin 10.4 millimeters tall and the lug to lug is 44.6 but if you measure it all the way out to the first link of the uh of the bracelet here just because how the integrated bracelet works it does come out to i think around 51 millimeters but the thing is it doesn't wear all that big so it fits okay on the wrist here but um as a in the collection here of three watches this one is probably the most uh, eye-catching piece just because of the integrated uh type bracelet it has and the uh, striking mint dial this watch would be great as your dress watch but you can also still wear it every day if you uh if you wanted to and to be honest, this is one of the watches I get the most compliments about. It is because of the bracelet, and I think it is because of the striking dial here. And I think it's just perfect uh, addition to any collection at any price. But for our three watch collection here, this uh, fits in just perfectly with our other watch that we had, uh, the uh, Seiko SSK. And finally, our last watch in the three watch collection for under $1,000 will be the John Mayer Houdinki Limited Edition G-Sock uh, DW6900 and uh, this one uh, I got it at retail so it was $180 I'm not sure if you can find it right now for that price but any G-Shock in this range will fill out your collection very nicely here so with 180 plus the 740 brings our grand total up to 920 so you have about $80 left for a nice dinner the reason why I chose this uh, John Mayer DW6900 edition is just because I feel like every uh, collection does need a G-Shock in there. And if we're going off a specific budget, like we only had $200 left to play with here. And uh, 
you can get a 6900 for a lot less but I do like this colorway and I think this colorway is pretty unique so it is a, a kind of a conversation piece uh, some people have asked me about uh, about this watch just because it's an unusual color non-watch collectors would be like oh wow nice uh, nice color here and the reason why I picked the 6900 over some of the other models like the 5600 or the Casio Oak uh, GA2100 is just that I'm a huge fan of this model a uh, little history back in the day I had probably like 50 to 100 different uh, 6900 had all the collaborations the LRG the information the um, Mr. Cartoon I had one that looked like a watermelon I can't even remember who that was a collaboration with but I just really love this model and I do want to give a shout out to the G-Shock Society if we're still around but I just want to let you guys know I'm still collecting G-Shocks and this watch I think pulls in the collection quite nicely to round out our collection of three watches for under one thousand dollars so here it is folks the um, three watch collection for under one thousand dollars I think this collection uh, if you look at it this could be all the three watches that you're gonna ever need for any type of scenario here we have our everyday plus we have our dress plus and we just have our kind of conversation starter and our um, kind of a beater watch I would say you can take these watches anywhere but you can also take all these watches anywhere because this one is really rugged but only thing about these two it doesn't have a screw down crown but the water resistance is still there so that may be a reason why you would pull the uh, G-Shock instead of any of the other pieces but thanks for watching another episode of Hawaiian Horology let me know what three watches you would have picked or do you agree with my three watches that I picked here for a collection for under $1,000. And thanks again and I'll see you on the next one. Shoots! Thank you.